Hey guys, Michael here from Into DJ. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of this. The Jelly Power Profile from American DJ. So guys, here we have the fixture. As you can see, there's 108 10mm LEDs in this fixture. There's 26 red, 46 green and 36 blue LEDs. Down here there's an IR sensor which means that it can work with the American DJ infrared remote which unfortunately you have to purchase separately. This fixture produces two effects. The normal glow from the LEDs which you get with all Parkans, which with this is a 30 degree beam angle. You also get a glow from the semi-transparent housing that the fixture is mounted in. I currently have the fixture sat on the yoke as you can see, but it can simply be undone by undoing these two screws, one on this side and one on this side. You can then sit it on these small four rubber feet on the back of the fixture. That's handy to mount it inside trusses, truss totems, all things like that. On the back, we have the four button LCD display like with most Moco DJ fixtures. Easy to use. That's all you need. Here we have DMX in and DMX out, just like we'd expect. But we also have a power in and a power out. This means you can go from a wall socket into the IEC power in. But now you can take the IEC power out and go into your next fixture in the daisy chain. This makes your setup time a lot less, saves your time rolling out extensions and also looks a lot more professional than having an extension every 10 metres or so. Now we're going to plug the fixture in and see what it can do. Now we're going to show you how to program and use some of the basic features of this fixture. First we're going to talk about DMX addressing and channels. So select your channel and address you're going to want to press the mode button and scroll through until you come to A001. A stands for address and 001 is the DMX address it's currently on. You're going to use the up and down buttons to select the address you want. When you've selected it you're going to press setup. This takes you to the channel select mode. This fixture can run in seven different channel modes. One through to seven. One uses one DMX channel, two uses two DMX channel, and so on and so on, all the way up to seven. You're going to use the up or down buttons again to select the channel mode that you need. And there you go. You've selected the DMX address and channel mode. So now we're going to talk about the colour mixing on the unit. You're going to want to press the mode button again, scroll through the modes until you come to R000. This means colour red and its current amount 000. So you're going to want to use the up and down arrow key to select the amount of red you want. This can go up to 255 I think. So we'll take this up to about 150. There we go. Then we're going to press setup. Green, this is a green 000. So colour green and the amount. So we're going to press up a bit. Do the same again, 150. There we go. And then we're going to press setup one more time. B000, blue and the amount. So again, we're going to go up to 150. There we go. And now you can press set up one more time and it says F500. F stands for the flash rate, so you're going to use up and down again. So we press it on one, it's going to flash quite slowly. Up again, let's put it down up to three now. So it's going to flash a bit faster. So we're going to put this up to about seven. And you can see the flash right there, it's quite high. So it's handy for discos, things like that. Now we'll just turn the flash rate back down, set up again and you're back into the red colour mixing. Now we're going to show you how to select the pre-programmed colours. You're going to press the mode button until we come to CL, colour. And you've got seven colours here, one red, two green, three blue and so on and so on, all the way up to seven. 
And then we're back to the beginning again. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.